It was pretty funny because you know my wife, you know, I'd come home, you know, after working, you know, 12, 15 hours, and I would just be exhausted because I, I can't attest for how a lot of other people work, but when I'm mixing and I get completely into it, so I figure if I feel all those emotions heightened, then I think I'm doing a good job. So you know, I go through the scenes over and over again. Like, Oh, 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 okay, oh, yeah, yeah, okay, sorry. Yeah, it was, it was definitely one of the most challenging things, and it's because, you know, you know these guys, and they're, they are so true to their core, and, you know, they live their lives the way they do, and it, it's, you know, I, I have nothing but the empathy, but respect for these guys, so. It was, it, was, it was sort of like my honor to be able to help document their stories and, you know, do whatever, you know, play the, the small part that I got to play on the line. Well, you know, when, when Tom came to me six, seven years ago with this little three-part miniseries and said, oh yeah, because at the time I was mixing Monster Garage, and he said, oh, we got this show, it's, it's about crab fishing. Okay, sure, I'm happy with that. And after getting into the first show, I realized that I was feeling nervous looking at all this footage and I thought, okay, this is this is weird. I'm feeling scared and nervous looking at this stuff. So this at that point I know, okay, if people feel that way when they watch it, then they're gonna realize how dangerous this is and how happy we are that we are not actually in